Hi guys, a uh, quick video showing you how to speed up your boot and a few other things as well using MS Config, uh, which is Microsoft configuration. Um, normally you can't find it in the search bars and that lot, but I'll show you how. You, you can speed up your boot and you can change a few other things like tasks and stuff like that. So if you go into your start menu and you just type in MS Config, one word, uh, and all it'll do is pop at the top, or you just click enter because it'll come up. Uh, system configuration, blah 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 blah. Uh, you, I, I wouldn't mess with anything on this screen. If you go to boot, uh, say if you've got uh, an Intel Core Duo 2 processor, uh, say you're using two processors instead of one. Uh, if 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 you're only using one, then this won't work for you. I'm afraid. I'm sorry, uh, but only for you, only for advanced users. So not just not what you're doing. Uh, it should be off checked. Um, so just click check it. And then go, it no, sh normally should be on one, but if you click two, because uh, if you've got two processors, one of them is a logical processor which sorts out all the calculations and stuff like that, and the other one is it just sorts out pretty much everything else. Uh, and when you boot up, it only it, it only uses the logical processor to boot to boot up, uh, and that's sorting out all the all the system configurations and that lot to start up. But if you click on both processors. Uh, or depending on how many pressures you've got, if you've got four, you just go down to four. Um, it will speed up your boot by, I'd say, 20, 30 seconds. Uh, I timed mine; it was 50 seconds to boot. Uh, um, Pass logging onto the desktop, uh, but then when I changed it to two, it was down to about 25 seconds, which ain't too bad. So if you just click on two, and then you click on OK, uh, what it'll do is it'll come up a message. I'm going to cancel that. It'll come up a message saying. Um, that you'll need to restart your computer. So you may want to do that at the end of doing of, of messing with all of this stuff. Um, and you'll need to restart it and just time it, see how long it takes, and it'll be a lot quicker. I uh, I promise you it will be. If not, then you can leave bad comments. Uh, you can also go to services uh, and whatever ser services you've, you've got running at the moment, any applications that are running, you can turn off there. The, the, the same things on Windows Task Manager. Um, but this is a, a more advanced um, thing. It, it will show you all the ones that are running. Task Manager only shows you a certain amount. Uh, it doesn't show you the ones that stopped and stuff like that. It only shows you ones that's running. You can also change the startup as well to make it faster. Now I haven't done many, very much messing with this computer, but I recommend that you know what you're turning off because you could cause the system to corrupt and not work. So make sure you know what you're unchecking. Uh, before you do this, um, if you go on, if you go on to Windows Help, uh, Vista Help, or whatever it's called, uh, and just type in the the name of the the thing that you want to uncheck, it should give you a description on what it what it is and what it does. So just make sure you you, um, you need to know what it does. Um, I wouldn't really touch tools because it's pretty much pointless. I haven't I haven't used tools once, so uh, if you just leave that the way it is. So there you go. Uh, just a quick demonstration on to show you how to speed up your boot um, please subscribe any comments just post them uh, and I'll try and answer them thank you very much cheers